With the help of this circuit and the time controlled ESP32 web server, now you can convert any switch or a relay into a time controlled switch or a time controlled relay. In fact, you can convert any device into a time controlled device. With this system, you can not only control small loads on time basis, but you can also control large loads like water pumps, heaters, refrigerators, street lights, generators, door locks, blinds. In fact, you can automatically turn on or turn off any electrical load of your choice for a specific time duration. All you need is to set the start time and stop time and then leave everything else to the controller. For this project, you will need an ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module, DS3231RTC real-time clock, and a 5-volt SPDT type relay. As usual, I'm using my newly designed ESP32 development board because it already has most of the components needed for this project, like for example, this 5-volt relay, the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module itself, and most importantly, this 5-volt and 3 amps power supply. Since this is a development board and I use it for making and testing my ESP32 based projects, so that's why I have soldered female headers on the left and right sides of the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module so that I can connect other sensors and breakout boards. For this particular project, I have connected the DS3231 RTC real-time clock. So if you want to make the same development board, then you can watch my previous video. I will add a link in the description. Anyway, you can also do the same exact connections on a breadboard. Let's quickly go through all the connections. Connect the VCC and ground pins of the DS3231 to the ESP32 3.3V and ground. Connect the SDA and SCL pins of the DS3231 to the ESP32 GPIOs 21 and 22. The 5 volt SPDT single pole and double throw relay input is connected to the ESP32 GPIO 13. For the connections, you can follow this circuit diagram. There is no need to worry at all when you see this interface because you don't have to design this page manually on your laptop or computer. All the code for this page is running on the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module because we are using the ESP32 as a web server. Although this is a very basic interface, if you know the HTML coding, you can design yourself an amazing interface by modifying the code I'm about to share with you guys. Anyways, this is the program of the ESP32 web server. You can modify this program according to your needs. I won't go into too much detail because HTML coding is an entirely different field in itself, but I'm sure you would be able to make minor changes. Once you read this code, you will get an idea. Anyway, if this is your first time using the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module, then you will also need to install the ESP32 board in the Arduino IDE. For this, you can watch my getting started video on the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module. Next, you will also need to install the RTC LIB library. For this, simply copy the library name, then go to the sketch menu, then to include library and click on the manage libraries. Paste the library name in the search box. You can see I have already installed this library. Finally, you can upload this program. In my case, I have already uploaded this program. While the ESP32 is still connected to your laptop or computer, open the serial monitor and copy the IP address. Now, you can disconnect the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module and get it installed near the load you want to control. For the practical demonstration, I'm going to control this 110 or 220 volt AC bulb. Remember safety first. When the 110 or 220 volt AC supply is connected, never touch the relay contacts as it can be extremely dangerous. It is important to note that when working with mains voltage, proper safety precautions should always be taken and it is advisable to consult relevant electrical codes and standards. Right now, the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module, my laptop, tablet, and my cell phone all are connected to the Wi-Fi router. I can use any of these to wirelessly open the ESP32 web server. There is no need for these devices to be physically connected. Anyway, first let's start with a laptop. All I need is to type or paste the IP address. The interface will open in no time. To turn on a load, set the start time. Next, set the stop time. This is the time that defines for how long the device will remain on or active.
As you can see the bulb just turned on, now it will remain on for exactly one minute. Amazing, the bulb just turned off. Now let's set the start and stop times using a cell phone. Now, let's set the start and stop times using a tablet. So guys, that's all about the time control switch or relay using ESP32 web server. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.